Welcome to Extra Time. We, of course, teased it on the show, but in case you missed it, it's, um, <laughs> this was Stephen's weekend. Mm. Pretty much, what was this Saturday and Sunday, Stephen? You spent oh, with this thing on your head? Saturday, I... Yeah, 24 hours. Now <laughs> I went to bed. <laughs> um, oh, if you have a family get oh, together. If you're oh. listening on the podcast, how would you describe this, Stephen? Very difficult. It's a crown with food <laughs> attached to it, and you're trying to get it in your right. mouth. Well, it's cheese and right. strawberries and stuff like that. I'll tell you, it's hard. No, easy. No? Yeah. I thought I was going to get a right good... Uh, <laughs> but I never got any. Uh, moving on, Juliana Ron is with us, and it's the first time Jules has uh, joined us since I found this, uh, from Ooh. maybe his first appearance when we had Press Pass back in the day before ESPN FC. Jules very much going for oh, the, what? the long hair. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what year was that? Wow. I don't know, Jules. What do you reckon? PSG Barcelona Champions League quarterfinal. What year was that? Mm -mm -mm. Would that have been the year where Carlo Ancelotti was fair. the manager and he was 2-2 two, 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 two in Paris, yeah. maybe, or something it's, like that? So that would be 2011, 2012. 2012. Goodness, mate. You look hey. much better now, Jules. Hold yeah, on a second. Like Hold on a second. You see the state you're here? <laughs> what do you mean? My hair's exactly <laughs> yeah. the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Why are we talking that, about Julian and not Put you? Put the picture back up. It's exactly the same. Never mind Jules. It's the state of you. How do you look at that picture? Look at the state of here. What's going on? You've got a hat on. I'll tell you what, your dress sense hasn't changed. Look at that horrible shirt and tie and that jacket. Somebody take that. Wait, no, wait, how did this get to me? Look at Joe. Yeah, Look at the steer you. Hey, Joe, no, it's all right. No, you, you look so no. deep. You look so deep. I remember that studio oh, very oh, well. Was that, yeah. the one in, that was the one in. Uh, it was here. What? That studio was here. No, where Joe's was. Ah, where Joe's was. You giant great dope. <laughs> 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 the studio in London, because I used to share it as well. Yeah, I don't know what studio's here. With Joe's? <laughs> well, with. I was, I presume Marcotti used to use that as well. Yeah, that's, that's what the same. smell was. <laughs> <laughs> Big sweaty thing in there. All <laughs> oh, right. What are Ali's thoughts on Venezuela's jersey situation yesterday? What was the jersey situation? Uh, the jersey provider, the brand for the Venezuela national team, uh, I guess ran out of jerseys, did not have enough, so they went out and bought other jerseys, uh, cut out the uh, tags on it, and put a Venezuelan flag on it to cover it, and that way it would look like as if it was a Venezuela national team jersey. No. It's embarrassing is what it is. It's, wow. a, it's a step back, and it's something that I thought Venezuela was beyond and past, but clearly not, because we go from beating Argentina 3-1 to one, oh. to not having enough jerseys to put our players into. Embarrassing. Embarrassing is what it is. Wow. So those are my thoughts. There's a few stories in the past when the team's going up and the kit man having to go to the shop to buy... No, I never know. Right, good. Okay. <laughs> no, well, we, we had to Wait, wear what? Coventry's kit. That's the story. Yeah, we, we travelled to Coventry. What did you bail a boot for? <laughs> oh, I, you know, he's, he's having a bad day. <laughs> <laughs> our kit man forgot the away kit. So he had to go... So he, our home kit, our, the kit that he had clashed with Coventry. And Gordon Strachan was the manager and he refused to, to switch. Right. So they gave us their checkered away wow. kit. And we wore that. And we played like Coventry. <laughs> Got beat. Wow. This is the sort of thing... For, sorry, because I'm actually bothered about this. This is the sort of things that if you pretend to be a World Cup team, you got to be a World Cup team in every aspect of your preparation, including, oh, by the way, having uniforms available. Yeah. When, when was last time Venezuela won the World Cup? Uh, that's a zero. So, oh. therefore, yeah. we are trying to build to that level. <laughs> yeah, but you've it's just been, a little bit longer than yeah, that. You've just beaten Argentina. Well, yeah. Okay. Still a big scalp. Yes, and it then is. You're on a bit of a high. Yes. And then you pitch up <laughs> and there's no tops. Correct. <laughs> or the tops that are there are essentially pirated ones. Are just Really? Yeah, well, yeah, of no. course. <laughs> Some bogus jerseys that showed up. Come on, man. Uh, why are Argentina so bad? I don't know. I thought no. they were great. But Venezuela's better! <laughs> <laughs> Messi. I, I have no idea. Is the Scotland international setup structurally flawed or are the players just not giving their all? Am I being too harsh on the players or about time the Blazers take some responsibility? Well, listen, the structure at the SFA is, is, is a shambles. It's weak and the whole thing from needs a root and branch change. But uh, uh, the Blazers will never take any responsibility, right? Let's get start with that. The Blazers and the men. The Blazers trust, so. will yeah. never take any responsibility at all. They've been hangers-on from the day that he played and I played. Right. Most of them. 
freebie merchants on the trips, on the away games, the Blazers. But in saying that, you know, there's a, there's a few players playing for Scotland now or, or in a, around the Scotland squad that seem to quite pick and choose when they want to turn up and play. And by the way, these players wouldn't even have got near squads of yesteryear. Right. They, they should think they're so lucky they're actually getting a cap. The fact that they're throwing Scotland caps about like confetti is the reason. But, you know, some of the guys have been like, ah, well, I had a few injuries at my club, but, uh, you know, it was a qualifier, but I might give this one a miss. I mean, seriously? So when you've got that attitude, it doesn't help. When, you, when you're already up against the eight ball with yeah. the players you've got. Final question. Have you ever been starstruck by an opponent you played against or a team member? No, couldn't give him. No? No. Jeff Stelling I enjoyed meeting when you introduced him. <laughs> <laughs> I got very excited about meeting Jeff Stelling. You did? Yeah. You're going to explain who Jeff Stelling is? Uh, he's a presenter of a, a very popular show in England. On Sky Sports. On Sky Sports. Sky I grew Sports. up watching him. I loved him. I think he's a brilliant presenter. Great and I introduced you to him. And you introduced him. In Berlin. Yes. Uh, yeah. Because Jeff was there. Yeah. Uh, and he was on his own because the Sky Boys hadn't arrived. And I said, oh, yeah, Jeff, come and have a beer with us. And you come over and you were like, oh, my God. Yeah, I trapped And you then <laughs> fawned over him for about two and a half hours. Poor bloke, yeah, I did completely. I was probably Ruin stuff. any chance you've got of taking over that show. Well, that's all right. Well, who would want to do that when I'm here? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jules, what about you? Like interviewing people? Nay, obviously. You love Nay. Mm -hmm. Starstruck by him. Mm -hmm. I interviewed Diego Maradona when he was the Argentina manager and they played France in Marseille. And that was, I have to say, that was, that was something else. But I guess the big one was Kanye West. I interviewed Kanye West four years ago in London. And that was the weirdest, most incredible experience of an interview that I've ever Ever done. Can you wish? <laughs> Place. Well, so, so what, what's your Place star talking forward. about this guy? <laughs> Why are you star talking about this guy? No, no, I was, was not it Kim star It was just an incredible star. experience. It was just, no, Maradona was far more interesting and so was Zidane, for example, but Kanye West seemed to live on another planet than, than all of us. It really, it was surreal, I have to say. It was incredible. What was the reason that you were actually interviewing Kanye West? Hi. <laughs> uh, the newspaper I work for here in London, the French newspaper I work for, also make me do other things than football. Oh. And oh. they just so oh. is that need why someone you were to interview is Kanye why... West, so I got a phone call. So is that why you were seriously <laughs> no, late tonight not. and you have kept us in this studio <laughs> for a long, long time? Yep. Yep. <laughs> so why were you late? I apologise again. Why? <laughs> I was a. I, that, it was not the reason. It was that was not the reason. So what was the reason? <laughs> well, I'm not asking a question. <laughs> I was at a PTA meeting. Oh, oh school. What? No. Joe. <laughs> <laughs> we were shot yeah. here. Oh, oh, yeah. Why That's did true. you say that, oh, you man. fool? <laughs> we were shot here for two That's hours true. waiting on you coming because you were at a PTA meeting. <laughs> And what's your role in the PTA? Oh, yeah, yeah, I hope you're the chairman. Yeah, uh, what, what's your role in the PTA? <laughs> I'm not even the chairman. That's that's the only thing I would say. Oh. But maybe one day, who you know, I'm, oh. I'm on the right path. Oh, what? <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know how we're saying whether the game is gone. Oh, the game is yeah, gone. Yeah, I should have got that. That's, that's it. That was more interesting. The game is really gone. Game's gone well, than those ones that were on the graphic. The <laughs> show <laughs> going to a PTA <laughs> meeting. Yeah. Uh, Star Trek, Stevie. Anyone? I do remember once. We played for Scotland under 21s and we were we had a meeting together with the, with the, the actual full international team. I was a little starstruck. Yeah. Didn't say anything, kept my mouth shut, just kind of sat there like a wee boy. Mm. Nice. Uh, for me, it was first time we played against Brazil away. And the, their starting 11 is coming out and it's everywhere you see it. Rivaldo and Ronaldinho and Roberto Carlos and Cafu. And then after all of that, it's Ronaldo and you go, yeah, we don't have a chance. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> we don't, I don't know if it was starstruck as much as it was. We have no chance. But have you met Kanye West? We, no. No, there no. you go. <laughs> no, I have not. I remember meeting the Ipswich team when I was a wee boy. And then I, I was a wee bit then. I mean, you think about Ipswich now. Yeah. Right. But back in old Mariner's day, yeah. around about then, they came up to play a, a testimonial at Rangers for somebody, one of the Rangers players, and the full Buna came up with them and Tyson and Muir and all that. And I was... Oh, I was in awe of Tyson. Craig. Oh, well, Tyson and Muir, and people won't remember them. If you go, you're absolutely fantastic Dutch midfielders right. that played, weren't they, Steve? Great. Unbelievable. Muir went to Man United off the back of Ipswich. 
Tyson was... I mean, it was an un to be fair, it was an unbelievable that's which team the yeah. Mariner played in. Say, well, he softened up quick there, didn't he? Yeah. Well, you yeah. know when that question was thrown out, it was like... Yeah. Yeah. No, but I thought, no, I initially thought the question... Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I thought the question was, are, like, you, are, are you in, in awe of somebody as a player? Right. When I played, yeah. I, I didn't care yeah. when I played, but when, when, I, was, his way out it, when I was younger, <laughs> listen, <laughs> your, be your, be <laughs> your belly's rumbling. Oh, that's I'll a big decision I was after pierced. dinner. We've yeah. heard about this. I, well, 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 I think I pierced that. For I the last half an hour, I've always talked. No, no, no. <laughs> definitely listen, pierced listen, the nerve. No, no, I've got my soft side. You just don't see it. No. On the golf course, sometimes. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. <laughs> now, what's my big decision? Yeah, Stevie's gone. Stop for dinner, yep. get a takeaway, or go home. Say no. Yes. When you do your karaoke, right? Yes. Is there any resemblance to Kanye West? No. No. Do you know what? I don't think do I can name a Kanye like... West song. No. no. Why, are you gonna... Why are you looking at me? Because I, 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 it's just right. not on my radar. Somebody's heard me singing, right? <laughs> Have they ever said you sound like... No, Stephen. No. Why are you bringing it back to singing? Well, because I just can you West. There was a lot of disappointment right. on Twitter. E ESPN FC yeah. did not return yeah, tomorrow. They never even tried. That's it. We got no international football tomorrow. They never even yeah. tried. Jules isn't with us tomorrow. He's got Dan other West. things to do. <laughs> Dan West. <laughs> well, if there's a journalist going to a PTA meeting tomorrow, <laughs> no, he's no. off that's the show. It. Yes, he's done. Off. Bob. <laughs>